start. We have two men who've made the semi-finals of big events in recent months. Christoph Ratajski reached the last four at the World Match Play back in July. And Danny Noppert did likewise at this month's World Grand Prix. So we could be in for quite a contest. And what an atmosphere it is as well. Cue John McDonald. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome back to the action coming to you from Salzburg, Austria. The Brazil European Championship brought to you by the Professional Dance Corporation. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the freeze, Danny Noppet, and Poland's number one, the Polish Eagle, Christoph Latajski. clash in Salzburg tonight it is the Netherlands versus Poland and Chris and Ned will have all the cultural references you could possibly want won't you Ned absolutely Jackie back in the 12th century the Hanseatic League grew up along the coasts of the North and Baltic seas lasting 500 years uniting the cities of Bruges London Lübeck Hamburg and of course Gdansk and Rotterdam the two principal ports of both Poland and the Netherlands where Ratajski and Danny Noppert come from in a spirit of cooperation and mutual benefit. None of that applies tonight, though. We've got a darts match. It really annoys me when you nick my notes. <laughs> Christoph Ratajski lives in Warsaw these days. The Polish Eagle, 44 years of age. A man who is bang on form. Four times a quarter-finalist in major PDC events and having a wonderful 2021. And neither of these players without a win in the European Championships and both playing in their, well, fourth event for... Ratajski and a third for Danny. Danny Noppert, nicknamed the Freeze because he comes from Frisia in northern Holland, right on that I North did, Sea I coast. I didn't know that. That I was alluding to with that very distinctive flag with the red love hearts and the, uh, I think he's got a little, little detail of that. You can see it on the cuff of his uh, left arm there, actually. Lost in 2018, did Danny Noppert to Rob Cross, 6'4, average 92.17. Rob Cross, 97. Point one seven. Pusler, Christoph to throw first. Game on. Christoph Ratajski with the darts in the first leg. One hundred and twenty. Went down to Dirk van Dijvenbode. Six nil. Dirk averaging ninety eight oh two. Ninety two. Ninety three for Danny. So it's not like he's played terribly in his 95. two European adventures. Well, you could argue that both these men are in, Chris, would I be overreaching to say the form of their lives over a relatively sustained period? There's no been no longer period in either of their careers where they've performed at a higher level than they are now. Absolutely. Uh, Ratajski, of course, a former world master. That's been the highlight of his career so far, winning that major. And he was outstanding in doing so 16. myself and John Rowling commentated on all of his TV matches for that one. And he was rock solid throughout. And Danny Nopper, you feel, is just starting to really break through. The former World BDO 55. World Championship finalist, of course. But is maturing as a player. Standing in defeating Michael Van Gerwen in the first round of the Grand Prix. Averaged over 96, double start. A little bit feisty, the aftermath of that, wasn't it? A little bit. Yeah, there was a little bit of a. Words exchanged? Yeah, I think he felt like Michael was 93. standing in the exclusion zone. As you can see, that black area around the Oki. You're not allowed to enter until the final dart has landed from your opponent. 
felt 100. Green that Duffy Michael was, was oh, standing a little bit too close. Vitaski on a finish here, one two eight, looking for the treble twenty. Not quite what he wanted there. Danny no, he still left himself a bit to do after 15 darts. Requires 72, 146 for Danny, 60, 54, 32. Or if the treble 20 was tempting, he may have 60. stayed there. Treble 13. Yeah, frustration for Nopper too. So 72 for Ritaiski. And tops for the leg. No. 52. So not put back on 86. 86. Just takes a moment there to refocus after that sloppy visit last time. Not it settles himself. That only just went in. Bullseye. 61. Twist He's going to have to come back. 20. Will he come back though? Double ten for Rutaiski. Yeah. The Gets there in the end. Both these players just off. blowing the cobwebs off a little bit here in Salzburg, you sense? Rutaiski holding his throw. Not it with the darts now. The opening leg of the opening match tonight was one in 19 darts by Gavlas. 97. Rutaiski has done exactly the same. Eighth meeting between these two in official competition. Incredibly, he's shot me. Danny Nopper leads 5-2. Does he really? 99. Going back to that exclusion zone that you're talking about there, Chris, that he was accusing Michael Van Gogh of encroaching mm. into. I mean, there is almost a kind of metaphorical exclusion zone in Dutch, in the sort of order of Dutch darts players, isn't there? Michael Van Gogh doesn't want anywhere near him in terms of who's the number one in the Netherlands. And um, yeah, he is still head and shoulders the best player from the Netherlands on current form, but Nopper, arguably, is the best of the rest. Yeah, he's the one that, well, potentially is closest 100. in terms of rankings, but a long, long way off in terms of ability, in my opinion. Uh, I, I always sort of try and judge a player at his absolute best. And Michael still remains, if not the best player, maybe the second best to Phil Taylor. And he wants to keep it that way, doesn't he, Michael Van Gogh? And I remember, Mace, you and I, a couple of years ago, this time, of, this time two years Danny ago, Maguire before the pandemic, before everything changed, in Amsterdam in 2019, uh, he faced Michael Van Gogh, didn't he, Danny Nobert, in the, in the final of the World Series event there? Yep. Didn't win. No, he got a bit of a, bit of a trancing. Not the first, nor the last, to have experienced that. 84. So Noppet leaves himself on tops. Rotaiski a long way back in this leg. One hundred. Danny, you require forty. Game shot well, the second leg. Danny Noppet. Even Stevens at the moment, isn't it? Both very, Third very similar in terms of uh, the quality of the dance off. they've been throwing, their composure, their ability Almost to check feeling out. each other out a little bit. Taking a, a look at each other. Funny things, these games, aren't they? These opening legs sometimes. You're just waiting for that, that succession of really ragged throws that will sap the spirit from a player. Or conversely, as we saw with Joe Mernon, that flash of brilliance that will suddenly spark everything back into life. And well, while neither of those things are happening, it's a little bit cagey. Sometimes that's, that's all it takes. Been a while since I've uh, come face to face, well, with all these darts players, really, because of COVID protocols and even at the events we've been at, you know, in, in person, we haven't really been able to talk to the players. I wonder how good both these players' English has become over the last couple of years. I remember Danny Noppert, unusually for a Dutch player, actually, was a couple of years ago quite hesitant with his English a little bit, and uh, Christoph Ratajski was just really beginning to learn the language, but I guess with the rigors of the PDC circuit, that would have changed quite a lot for him. Much more confident with the English these days. 100. Yes, incredibly. Uh, much quicker they pick up another language in comparison to us Brits, I suppose. But talking to Phil Taylor and, and 
and where, where people's opinions are of who is the who is the greatest is it him or is it michael this 100. particular tournament created well one of the most staggering darting displays i can remember and that was phil taylor 2009 round one beat toon grieve 6-2 with 111.03 round two beat thornton 9 nil with 110.88 Quarterfinals beat Anderson 10 3 with 118.14. <laughs> Semi finals beat Class 11 3 with 109.36. And in the final beat Steve Beaton 11 3 with 109.35. A tournament average of 111.54. Don't be ridiculous. There you go. Don't try telling me he's not the governor. Couple 16. Yeah, very efficient again from Christoph Kotaiski. He's moving from third gear to fourth gear, isn't he? Slowly, slowly but surely getting there. And it was a 13 darter in leg two for Danny, followed by a 15. And that 134. Of 70 points. Three holds of throw. 125. When was that Taylor encounter? Did you say two, 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 2009? Was that peak Taylor? What were the what was the yeah, it went on for so long? Pick your year, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, really? exactly. Yeah, pick anywhere between sort of I don't know, maybe 60 mid 90s to well, you know, he's staggering. It wasn't that long ago, you know, he retired, but in his final year, he won the he won the world match play 45. In my earliest memories of darts coming back to ITV in the days of the, the Grand Slam of darts and now the succession of tournaments that we cover throughout the year. You know, those early years were the Taylor years, weren't they? And he was, Chris, he was just, we just went into every tournament on the assumption that he was going to get to the final comfortably and trounce whoever, whichever unfortunate soul stood up well, well, It was very much like what Michael had when, when Jackie started uh, doing ITV darts. I think 99. she went over three years without seeing Michael lose on you ITV. just assumed that was just the way the <laughs> yeah, world <no>. worked. <laughs> uh, selling his name. Amazing, yeah. really, isn't it? 60. The enduring legend. He'll be back next year as well, February, for the world seniors. As will you, Chris, if you well, qualify. If I qualify, which is uh, have you, highly unlikely. Fancy a rematch against Taylor? 80. Absolutely not. <laughs> Danny, you require 147. That no, that does absolutely nothing for me. <laughs> well, we're working our way to the business end here. Oh, double 18 for a 147. Oh. 129. Christoph, you require 152. Nearly a snooker maximum there, wasn't it? Snooker returns to ITV in November. 116. Danny, you require 18. Yep. On the Good dart. Danny Still with the throw. Levels it up. Two, two apiece. Two One more leg before the break. Off. This is suffocating. See, I mean, well, the bookies before the off, before the off, the bookies couldn't separate them, no. and I doubt they're doing much to Seven separate to them now. No, it was definitely a coin flip. This one it was who you fancied, and one key moment will play its part in this one. Nopper, of course, he has the work to do because he needs to find a breaker throw to win this match. Rutajski doesn't, Rutajski won the ball out the back in the practice area, <coughs> which gave him the honor in the. Odd numbered legs. But players feel like they seem to be throwing at kind of 85%, don't they, at the moment? Just a little bit of tension in both their throws. Which of the two, Chris, for you, looks the most likely to find the nitro button to press and just accelerate into a different gear? Well, Nopper has to take so much from that wonderful week he had in the World Grand Prix. And maybe One the moment is now. Well, maybe that's the first was it. max of this match. Maybe that was the nitro button. Against the throw as well, remember. In terms so. of averages, 93 for Ratajski. Damien Nopper is currently on. 90, 
6.1. I was going to lend you my specs there. You were staring at your screen, weren't you, Chris? 60. Well, he hadn't nicked the darts, Danny Noppets, but Ratajski, with a big visit here, can, can reclaim the advantage, just about. I was actually waiting for the average to change after the max, and it did. He went up to 99.91. Danny require 161. <laughs> and he's in a great spot here. Unless Ratajski can take out the 140, he will be back to go for whatever he leaves. Could go ball, could go trouble 19. That's a good dart. An aggressive dart. That's, That's a good dart. That's a good dart by a player that is full of confidence. Tops. Double ten. One hundred and thirty. Danny required twenty-four. His heart would have been in his mouth. Wow, well, that was ruthless finishing Danny from Danny Noppet. Ratajski was looking dangerous there. Noppet. Wary and defensive, and in defence, attacking. And he takes the lead, 3-2 into the break. It's tight, but it's advantage. The Netherlands here in Austria as Danny Noppert just about pushes his nose in front. Welcome back, the two players refreshed, raring to go again. The Salzburg public just wandering their way back to take their seats, having been treated to a uh, few hits from the 1980s, as is the... Uh, we were bopping along. We were. <laughs> Showing Do you want some stats from that first little mini session? They were impressive, weren't they? Very. Uh, winning legs for Noffert, 13, 17 and 13. That one break of throwing leg Sigma five with Danny the first 180 of the match. Averaging 99.41, 50% on the doubles, three out of six. Ratajski, 92.88. Yeah. And he's also 50% on the doubles. As we suggested, Danny Noffert looked the most likely to find another gear. Yep. A second maximum for the Dutchman. 134. And a pretty good response from Christoph Ratajski now. Are we going to be treated to a purple patch within this match? One hundred. He's going to give himself a well with a holder throw here a, a nice two leg bit of breathing space. It's a, a nice cushion to have in a race to six. 97. Following this one, first look at former champion James Wade up against Adam Smith Neal. Another player making his debut. Yeah, it's one of the pleasures of this tournament, isn't it? These are two established names on the hockey, but uh, for sure, young Adam Gavlas, who beat Joe Mernon in the first, that would have been a, the first time many of our viewers, I think, will have been even aware of him, let alone watched him on the telly. It's, uh, it's a nice mix of uh, big, big stellar names. Four. Some established names and some promising stars of the future. The game is in a, in a good place right now. 140. Handy 130. Well, we've seen one 167 one, one, six, tonight. That came from nowhere. This wouldn't. Trouble 19 and ball. Yeah. Bullseye for it. Oh. 142. This stop, you require 130. Super effort. Could be all in vain. Yeah, near the trouble 20 for him. So Noppert should have two darts then Danny to check out here and give himself 25. that 4-2 lead, that two-leg buffer. Double eight. Game yeah, very, very good Danny check Danny out Noppet. from Danny Noppert. Nerveless stuff Danny from the Dutchman. And that's a problem for Ratajski. Now he has a problem. Well, what Dan is doing is... 59. He's, he's forcing his hand. He's going to end up trying a little bit too hard and have to resist that. To try and continue to play with absolute freedom. 100. Yeah, Ratajski's finding two good darts in a visit, and then the third one's just not quite going where he wants to wants it to go. Needs all three to land. 
needs to really apply the pressure on Moffat, turn this around because the legs are running out for the pole. And now in excess of 100, 100.69. We'll have our first 100 plus average of the tournament so far. This will be our 10th match. One. Another one. Maximum number three for Danny Noffert. All come in the last three legs. Yeah. He really has kicked. He's kicking for home. 59. Well, wins this leg and he really is in the home straight, isn't he? Oh, he has, has throw as well in the next leg. Great adjustment. 83. Three quarterfinals in major PDC events for Christoph Ratajski. All these this year, four 85. in his career, but three this Danny year. World Championships, the UK Open and the World Grand Prix. That's solid. More than solid, but not but in terms of what he's done over the last few months, just that bit, that bit more aggressive, that bit classier, that bit better, frankly. 58. Tyski only 10 points past the halfway point of the leg. He's already thrown 12 darts. This has been 60. a disaster, and he's still not on the finish. Danny the head has dropped. 80. Well, he gets this, and the bell is sounding for the final round, isn't it? Not but ahead on points. So, tops for it. What, what sight has he got of the double not lunch? Much. Oh, James didn't need much. Play. Did Danny not Noppet. need much. Danny Noppert's finishing has been like Danny to pretty first. impeccable. Yeah, Game over on. at 50%. Five from nine now. And he has the darts, and he has one leg to get this done. Get himself back to the hotel and gear himself up for the weekend to come. 100. This is putting out a, a bit of a statement, isn't it, from Danny? Moffat now averaging over a ton and 107 for the first nine. 140. It's not going to get any any easier for the winner of this one, which looks like being Danny Nopper. He plays the winner of Michael Smith and Ryan Searle, which is uh, one hundred in three games time, which is another absolute cracking tie. Good visit from Christopher yeah, Tyson. Back to back one yeah. yeah. It's never over till it's over. Although that might one. be it. That might just be it. His fourth maximum, and he is very, very close now to the finishing line. And that Ratajski frown that he always wears, even when he's throwing well, has just got that bit deeper set. Fourth 180 in the last four legs. Danny require 121. One in each of both the last on, four. Both on one, two, one now for the leg. Not it with the darts. Almost uh, feels like this game needs to be finished off with a finish like this show this shot on Mr. the ball but he's left 24 after 12. now what can Ratajski do same number same start same result goes down looks for the next treble misses just like Noppert damage limitation very similar but it's Noppert who is on double 12 first three darts then to get it done he's winning legs so far 13 17 13 14 15 and one, one dart that's all he needs Danny Noppert dances through.